I grew up knowing I was going to be a Marine. No doubt. In my family, we have the core represented really well. My dad, my big brother, my uncle. In my family, you're either Marine or you're not. Never found the not part very attractive. I knew being a Marine wasn't going to be easy, but I always knew it was part of who I am. My dad always encouraged me to participate in all sports and to take care of myself. He told me being in the best possible shape would help me as a boot. It sure did. I became a United States Marine on 23 February 2001 at MCRD San Diego, which was the proudest day of my life. My whole family was there. After graduation, they took me to Shakey's Pizza. I ate an extra large pepperoni all by myself. <laughs> I got a little sick. About a year later, I fell hard for a girl. It took everything I had not to be thinking about Melissa 24-7. She's a second grade teacher, and she called me her Marine. When I began my deployment training, we went through a rough patch. She was sad and worried all the time. I tore us no safer place in the world than with a platoon of Marines. It did very little to help her fears, and our time together became really stressful. My battalion left for Iraq in January 2003. Something told me Melissa would not be waiting for me when I returned. It made my heart ache, but I knew what I was doing was right. In my heart, in my soul, for my country, for my family, and for my Marines. When I said goodbye to my folks, Dad joked about me not bringing home any foreign wives or babies. Mom, she cried. I served with my fellow Marines proudly. We had each other's back. It was hot as hell. Some days were okay. Some days, not so much. I gave my life on 11 December 2003, fighting and serving for my country. There was this idea on the track that the dogs missed. It was quick, too quick for me to know what happened. My mom froze when the casualty officer arrived at her door with the news. She walked away as dad invited the officer in the house. Mom went to her bedroom, where she remained for months with the exception of meeting my casket rest near my grandpa. My mom's tough, way tougher than my dad, just not this time. She clenched her fists and screamed at my dad as they hadn't heard a flag from my casket. Is it worth it? She cried. Mom, it was worth it. Please understand, I died a whole and complete man doing what I was meant to do. I had a purpose, Mom. Ever since September 11th, 2001, our nation has been at war. And in those 16 years, countless thousands of Americans have answered their nation's call and have marched off to the sound of the guns. Unfortunately, freedom is not free. Rather, it comes at a very heavy cost. In their memory, lest we forget, the band, under the direction of our enlisted conductor, Gunnery Sergeant Gary Robison,
would like to dedicate this hymn to the fallen, to those who have given the last full measure and paid the ultimate sacrifice for their country.
didn't know that we just finished our dangerous assignment. I'm sure that he didn't know that I had promised my mom that I was going to come home safely. I'm sure that he didn't know that I spent the last month doing everything I could to improve relations between our cultures. All I want to know is why, out of all the vehicles in our convoy, he targeted mine. All I do know is that I serve my country. I give everything I 